ask you ask you this, Devashish. It seems like we have expanded how we're looking at technology from first objective to you brought our attention that technology is uh, a subjective process, and it's a it's a creative process, and we have to look at our subjective faculties that we already have and explore them. So we're in contact with that subjectivity. You also use the word becoming synonymous with cosmogenesis. Would you say that the very act of, in the wider aspect, technology is the process of cosmogenesis? Would you agree with that? Absolutely, absolutely, Kenna. Now, this is, again, you know, I mean, we, since we've taken that turn towards the Indian side of things, the term technology is everywhere there, you see. So, for example, in Tantra, Tantra literally means technology. In Tantra, you used use diagrams that are called yantra. Yantra literally means machine. See? And then they have the notion of the yantri and the yantra. Yantri is the driver of the engine, or the driver of the machine, which is the goddess. The goddess drives the machine. We are the machine. Of course, there's no duality. We are the goddess as well. You see? Again, in Sankhya, the same thing is happening. Prakriti, the term Prakriti literally means a kind of a, you know, tendency towards movement or action. Kriti, towards doing. A tendency towards doing. A tendency towards do doing is a machinic thing, an automatism. And that's what Sankhya is about. It's about all the various levels of automatism and the fact that these are working together in a certain way to give us the phenomenological experience that we have. It's the machine of who we are. Right? It's a machinic description. So, in fact, I would tend to, again, talking about yoga as a field, none of these need to be taken in an absolute manner as truth. They're all serving a certain goal of becoming. They can be reconfigured, they can be put together, and that's what's happened throughout the Indian history. There, there is different kinds of combinations of all these techniques and all these descriptions that are serving different goals of becoming taught by different teachers, see, and followed by different yogis. So this technology of being, where we're looking at uh, whatever we call our phenomenological experience as generated in a machinic sense by the mechanism of prakriti and the ability to emerge out of that and become a pure witness, which is purusha. In Sankhya, that, that is the goal of becoming, how to, how to be liberated from the co-optation by this machinic, right? But we could take it further. And they've done, like, say, for, so the Gita uses this machine or this narrative of yoga. Kashmir Shaivism uses this narrative of yoga. Pancharatra Vaishnavism uses this narrative of yoga. And they all turn it into something else. Okay. So the part in it that they use is that it's always useful to be able to liberate oneself from the machinic. And then that technology is absolutely necessary in our times because that's exactly what we are talking about. We are talking about the fact that we are captured and we need to know that we are captured. We need to be able to see the nooses that capture us. See, these nooses are not just nooses of our making. They're nooses of our time. They're nooses of our society the nooses of technology and capital. So, or, or the capital use of technology in our ability to reverse the use of technology, to make them into subjective technologies of becoming, technologies of the self. So, arriving at that sense of being able to be free. But having come there, we can actually now empower different ways of technology, open up new technologies of experience, the experience of creative life and ethical life. 
because that's exactly where we come to what kind of a world do we want for the future we just don't want to get out of this world we want to make another world so what kind of a world do we want we want a world where, where we apply this sense of the intuition of the one we want a world in which we are in at one with the earth we are at one with other human beings we are at one with the animals of the world right we are coming from a sense of deep identity and relationality and yoga will tell you that that is possible that's possible but first you have to know this liberation and secondly you have to open up these intuitions of deep understanding and relationality